have been writing songs together since we were very little, um, especially for our parents. We found that actually writing a song is a lot easier than buying them presents. He's always been an amazing pianist and musician, and I've always been very into the whole lyric side of things, so it was sort of a, a natural progression. Mark came up to me at some point last year and he said, you know, we should really, really just do a musical, but I have absolutely no idea of how to write stories and you're really bad with lyrics as well, so um, let's get in this other guy and he can just basically do all the grunt work for us. I first met Chaz in the first year of university. Um, we actually lived in a block together. Um, so we've been friends since then and I've always really, really admired him as a writer and as a stand-up comedian and all of that kind of stuff. Back when they used to hold surfing competitions on the beach, there was this surfer. Naturally. I haven't finished, Brian. His I first discovered his propensity for writing horror when he adapted a film called Pontypool, uh, which would have been in our, in our third year of university. and it was minimal set, minimal budget, minimal props, and it was absolutely terrifying. They phoned up Chaz, who was absolutely ecstatic and really, really keen, and jumped on the idea, and then Reptide was born. So the writing process basically consisted of us deciding to tell Chaz to go away, write a synopsis, and he came back with something which we absolutely loved the look of. Uh, you should get that out of the summer or it won't develop properly. Uh, not everything can develop as well as you, my dear. What did I say about being weird, Giddy? You got a nice hair, Nick. I love the theme of the show so much because it just combines all the genres that are really, really suited for musical theatre that don't tend to get done that often. Comedy musical theatre is obviously the best thing. Horror musical theatre is largely unexplored. I mean, there's a few, but really, most musical theatre doesn't really touch on that subject. Whatever! I've been working hard to get through to you. I can have cheerleaders any time I want, but I chose you, and you just don't respect that. Respect? You ignorant lots of insults that are really long words, imbecile! Hey! I didn't understand any of that, but I can tell that it's mean. One of the best things about being a composer is the fact that you have the utmost power to make a group of people do whatever you want them to do. You can write anything you want and these group of immensely talented people will work for two months in order to try and do what you wrote. Who's going to find his prey? Over your shoulder. Who let it be? Gonna see the end of the day. They are incredible. Their interpretation of the songs that Simon and I have written, their comic timing on the on the script, everything is just perfect. It's exactly how I envisioned the show when we wrote it, and seeing it come to life is just totally thrilling. This will be the best. You'll never find a horror musical which will make you laugh as much, or a comedy musical which will make you cry as much. I've had the songs stuck inside my head for the best part of a year now, and I really, really want to get them out of mine and into yours. It's got romance, it's got horror, it's got comedy, it's going to keep you on the edge of your seat right up until the end of the show. You're going to have no idea what's going on, but you're going to absolutely love the ride. Just come and see it. You'll love it. I just used the word thrilling. Yeah. Who the fuck uses the word thrilling? Apparently. <laughs> Everyone's gonna know. No!